Godzilla King of the Monsters has just received its second trailer release and there's a lot to unpack from the teaser. Throughout this video I'll be breaking down everything that you need to know about the monsters involved in it as well as some of the easter eggs that we see. This video may contain spoilers but it is a bit too early to say yet and everything right now is just a theory but you have been warned. With that out the way I'm Definition and welcome to the channel where I ruin it so you don't have to. Okay, so the trailer opens with Madison sending a distress call only to be greeted by a voice that is completely drowned out and deafened by the unmistakable sound of a monster. We learn from the trailer that Madison and her mother, Dr. Emma Russell, have been kidnapped by an organisation that believe that the Titans are the first and rightful rulers of the planet. From the surroundings, one could guess that they are currently at the Arctic installation where King Ghidorah awakens and throughout the trailer we can piece together that Godzilla arrives to stop him. Ghidorah is initially pictured behind a large wall of ice and gets woken up before being unleashed on the world. Ghidorah has the capacity to fire gravity beams from its mouth and can discharge electromagnetic fields and travel through space. In the trailer we see the giant beast making easy work of Boston and even demolishing a Dunkin Donuts sign in what is arguably one of the best or worst product placement shots ever. Godzilla fights it at both the base and city and the scenes are very reminiscent of Batman v Superman aesthetically. I just hope the fight doesn't end because their mother is called Mothra. Did you get it? Like like Martha, no, no, never mind. Anyway, that brings me on to my next point. Mothra 2 can be seen in the trailer throughout. Mothra rises in China, but actually seems to be on the same side as Godzilla. It makes sense to have more good monsters as just G-Man on his own would really not stand a chance. The blue light that emanates from both Mothra and Godzilla might highlight that they're on the same side and even friends that go to like Dunkin Donuts together. No wonder they're so angry. We also get flashes of Rodan, who rises from a volcano spewing ash, smoke and lava. From the trailer, it appears that Rodan travels to Washington DC, completely destroying it in the process with a massive wind gust that even makes people fly into the air. We see the US military and G-Team, which one can assume stands for Godzilla, flying in to meet the monster and this scene is obviously setting up a big showdown. The Monarch Sciences viral marketing website has teased two dozen titans on Earth and it appears appears that there is a fifth monster in the film when we see giant crab legs erupting from the ground. However, this monster is unnamed so it's difficult to do more than speculate at this moment. There is an exchange that highlights that there are two sides of the story, with one disputing that the monsters are here to protect us, whilst the other states that they are here to destroy us. In the dialogue exchange, humanity is called Godzilla's pet, which highlights that he is indeed our protector, so we can guess that everything else is against us, other than best mate Mothra. Whilst we may be his pet, Godzilla still gets held captive and there's a great shot of this in the trailer. Overall, it makes for a stunning set piece and perhaps showcases that Madison is the reason that the beast rises up to defend us. Either way, I can't wait to see how the battles play out on the big screen and this has certainly got me amped up for the main event. So, what are your thoughts on the second Godzilla King of the Monsters trailer? Are you excited for the film and which monsters do you want to see most? Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and check out my breakdown of the leaked Spider-Man Far From Home trailer which will be linked at the end. This is a channel for people who are mad into monsters so if that's the kind of thing you like, hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, I've been Definition, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.